my low. No, we got 10 seconds. My low back is on fire right now. I look like an absolute moron in the gym right now. I'm trying to work out with kettlebells, so don't judge me, guys. But this workout is insane. What's up, YouTube? So today, we're doing the Thor Chris Hemsworth workout. So there's actually a lot of different resources online talking about Chris Hemsworth and how amazing and how jacked he is and the different type of workouts he did for the Thor movie. So I actually have a few listed on my phone I wanted to share with you guys. So before I jump into the workout, I wanted to read some stats on Chris. So he's 6'2", and he's around 200 pounds, and he's 37 years old. And he bulked up to like 20 pounds to train for this Thor movie. He was training around six times a week. So to help him get into superhero shape, Hemsworth recruited an assistant of Michael Knight. So Chris's regimen was split into two parts, says Knight. The first was a bodybuilder type protocol focused on high weight, low rep moves, designed to pack on muscle size, while second was total body circuits designed to shift his excess fat while maintaining muscle, okay? So that's why I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna choose which one I wanna do here, I'm gonna show you guys. So as his coach was saying, his training wasn't tough enough, he had to start the program while filming another movie. And Chris's coach says, when I started working with Chris, he was doing 12 hour days on the set of Red Dawn, but he still had time and energy to train for between 60 to 90 minutes five days a week after his shooting commitments were over. That's insane. This guy has great work ethic. And Chris Hemsworth kind of concluded with, it was certainly exhausting times, but I'd prefer to be training than not. It gives me more energy and I generally feel better about myself. I feel like I have earned that beer at the end of the week. That's what I'm talking about, Chrissy. Okay, so there's multiple different type of bodybuilder style workouts here. We've got a back routine, they had push routines and arms. I'm gonna challenge myself to do something different, which is more of a Tabata routine. So Tabata routines are like 20 seconds on of high intensity workout, then 10 second rest. I actually never really train like this, but I wanna give it a go and challenge myself. So this was the routine that he was doing to shred off some body fat. And reading up on Tabata training, guys, if you read up on it, it is not for, for beginners. So I don't really, I mean, I've been training for a long time, but I don't train like that, so I'm probably gonna get wrecked. Okay, so the first workout is gonna be double kettlebell squats for four rounds, and then kettlebell snatches for eight rounds. 20 seconds on. 10 seconds off, or how long it takes me to get through it. I'm using 35 pounds. We'll see how it goes. Hey, that was like, that was super, super hard for me, but we're gonna keep going. So the next one is kettlebell swings, 30 seconds for two hands, or with two hands, 30 seconds right hand, 30 seconds left hand, and then 30 seconds alternating swings with the kettlebell, and then it's just all pretty much kettlebells. Kettlebell cleans, five right, five left, four left, four right, three right, three left. You get going all the way down and then back up. Total of 60 reps with no rest. So um, yeah, let's, let's see how this one goes. My low. No, I only got 10 seconds. My low back is on fire right now. Maybe because I'm not doing it right and I'm gauging the right muscles, but then we gotta do the, the other crazy set right now. I look like an absolute moron in the gym right now and trying to work out with kettlebells, so don't judge me guys, but this workout is insane. So after doing the circuit two, we're moving on to circuit three, the last circuit. So I'm doing Turkish get-ups, never done them before in my life, for five minutes straight. And then windmills, or kettlebell windmills, five each side. I've never done those as well, and I just did it. <laughs> I was like looking around the gym, like is anyone looking at me weird? So we gotta finish this workout though, because Chris would be proud. <laughs> I just did the bodybuilder workout. This is, I don't know how people do kettlebell workouts. It's like, it's its crazy. Chris, I admire you so much, man. And uh, if you ever need like a redhead replacement or something, a sidekick, just let me know. But I can't, these kettlebell workouts are hard, hard. <sighs> All right, guys. Well, you guys should try that workout. That was insane. To be honest, 
I don't really like trading that way, but it's completely different. And it's nice to really like break a sweat because I don't break a sweat anymore when bodybuilding, like when I'm training like a bodybuilder. But overall, do you guys think that Chris Hemsworth could go up against Andrew Tate? If you don't know who Andrew Tate is, check out this video. He's a freaking madman.